Hi, welcome to Canis Vader Christmas. Well, um, I was perusing the uh, forums the other day and, and noticed someone posting about some frustration that ha they had experienced about building ethernet cables. So I thought, you know, they're, I, I do them all the time. They're pretty easy. So I figured I could do a quick video on that. But anyway, they're really simple to do, um, but there is a technique and depending on which cable you're using it can get even more frustrating so like what i have is i have a whole box of this cat 5e uh riser blue cable i got it off of amazon it comes from true cable um it is a uh total bear or bear copper is that what it says yeah 100 percent certified bear copper um so i recommend that and uh, so I'm going to show you what, what I do to make cables now. Um, so obviously you need some cable. Um, you will need uh, a crimper tool. And this uh, is an easy RJ45. I'll leave a affiliate link below. I think I got this off Amazon. Um, another thing that I use because I'm uh, older is uh, some sort of uh, uh, visual enhancing device. The ladies love these. Um, and then uh, you will need some uh, bear connectors. So this is these are these are Cat Six connectors. This is a 50 pack platinum tools. Again, I'll leave a a link uh, to that. Uh, you will need some wire cutters. You may need a knife to remove the sheath. Uh, and another thing is a variable speed drill. Uh, this comes in very handy. This is the uh, DeWalt DCD 985. Now, does it have to be the DeWalt DCD 985? No. Any variable speed drill will work. Uh, you can even have one that plugs into the wall. It will still, as long as when you barely push the thing, it goes slow, and and then when you go in, it goes fast. That's what you want. Variable speed drill doesn't doesn't matter. But if you're in the market for a variable speed drill. I recommend the DeWalt DCD 985. Yes, that's okay. All right. Um, so let's get to building a cable. All right. Let's say you want a cable about this long. Um, so pull something out, cut it. We are now done with the box of cable. Put that to the side. You're all right. Dog dog is watching this uh, you will need a uh, knife I like to use a knife for these so uh, I like to remove about that much insulation and you will see why in a moment but um, probably about a hundred mils for you outside the United States about four inches if you're in the US uh, maybe five I don't know I'd, I'd probably go a little longer but you know something like that and and be very careful because you don't want to cut the wires on the inside so you just want to remove this outer part so I kind of score it and pull and eh, it didn't do good enough so once you get it started it usually comes off okay so that's what's inside there so you want to cut this little string so I, be careful and then what you have is four strands of twisted pairs. So you got orange stripe and orange, you got green stripe and green, you got uh, blue stripe and blue, and you have brown stripe and brown. Now you notice these are twisted together very well, and they will not go into this very well. So, hence the drill. So you just take, do one at a time, stick it in the, you know, bring the, bring the, uh, the chuck all the way in and then loosen it just a little bit till you get, I don't know, 
quarter of an inch, five mils, something like that. Oh, going the wrong way. So you want it to untwist. And look at there, it's straight. So I'm going to do all four of these. Alright, so when you're done, you should have eight straight wires. Looks like that. Cat 6 is a little bit different, so this is Cat 5. And this is Cat 6. Do you notice any, any difference between the two? <laughs> yeah. Cat 6 has got this little insert in the center. I guess it just keeps the, the cable twisted properly. Unless you have a need for gigabit speed, this is a lot easier to work with. Um, but the, building these is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is, in, in addition to removing this little string right here, you also want to cut this out uh, very carefully. And, you know, you can, it's not really stretchy, but you just have to be real careful when you cut it real close to where all the wires come in. Um, and if you are building something like this, a very short cable, then uh, as you're doing that, in order to keep from pulling this stuff out, you might want to get a pair, yeah, these are very small. A pair of vice grips or a vice or just clamp it on the end actually I'm gonna have to open this up a little bit just clamp it on the end so that it it will hold all this stuff um, and you're gonna get rid of this part anyway so no big deal about crushing it or anything like that uh, the other trick is making sure that you get you know about that much into the coupler and I'll show you that here in just a second all right coming in close so what you want is to make sure that you get this piece inside here so that when you when you go to crimp it it, it actually closes in on the wire a little bit so obviously this is this is kind of a pain because it doesn't do it so you need to coax it in there. Here's my coaxer. So, uh, and you don't have to go nuts with it. Just, just enough to get it in there. So now, just enough so that it, it goes in there. And then once you get it in there, you can, you can push it in as far as it'll go, and and you're good to go. Anyway, so then we have this, and you notice these ends are kind of boogered up. So what I'm going to do is cut the tips of them off. So now we have a nice cut on the end. You take your little connector. So it has the little the little tang or the, whatever you call that sticking up. So you want that facing down. And then you want this, I guess from your perspective it would be like this. Can you see that? You want this facing away from you. So what you're going to do is you get your visual aid because this can be kind of tedious. So the, the the thing is down and then so we're just going to insert these one wire at a time. So you go orange stripe and I kind of bend them. Orange stripe orange green stripe blue blue stripe green brown stripe and brown Let's 
check our work. Orange stripe, orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, brown stripe, brown. Okay. So, that is what you get when you put them in there. Now, this is a standard, uh, a standard uh, color code wiring thing. There's, there's more than one, obviously. This one has always worked for me. Um, now, if you're in a commercial setting, they may have a different color code, so you need to go by their color code. But if it's for your house, you can really come up with any color code you want. Probably best to stick with a standard, and this is the one that I use all the time. So run this down, and what you want to do is you want to get the wire inside uh, this little connector. Just, just kind of shove it as far as you can. You don't have to be nuts with it, but you, you, you end up with all these wires sticking out like that. So then you take your crimper, and what I do is I put a little twist in the end because sometimes it's hard to get through this crimper, and we're going to cut these off. So that's what I do. Uh, so it has a blade on one side and then thing for the connector in. So you just put that in there like that and you tighten it down and I kind of give it a little twist and tug and now we have our connector. Look at there. Perfect. Except I dropped them. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now let's do the other side. It's the same process. And voila, we have our cable. If you need to do one of these, would you buy one of these? No, but if you're gonna make cables or if you're gonna repair some cables, maybe you bought, you know, like a hundred foot cable. Um, you know, these will go 
the Ethernet standard is 100 meters or 328 feet. Um, you know, maybe a deer chews the end off of one of yours and, and you need to repair it. Well, then, then this and this is what you'll need to, to fix it along with the other tools that I mentioned here. Um, and if you don't, I mean, if you need like a couple of cables or five cables or something like that, you can probably buy them cheaper, quicker, less frustrating. Um, but if you want to be able to repair your cables, then, then this is a good option it's not that expensive I mean it's it's another tool and it's it's you know something else to keep up with but uh, you know I've made tons of cables and it's helped just oh I need a cable to do this it needs to be this long it's great so I hope that helps some of you you know pretty much a, a quick video on how to do this stuff uh, if you have any questions you can leave them below other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon now I shot an email. Uh, I got six of these, and so they. I got five of these. I am your father.